Well, I think education was important to my parents because their education was limited. So my siblings and I were the first generation in our family to go off to college. New York State standards for science, for example, there's several of them. So in earth science, they've got to know vocabulary, and they've got to know processes, and they've got to solve problems and take the exam. We often miss the fact that there's those other science standards, that students be able to use the library, that they be able to read and write, have literacy skills. All those are good things, and all those things are in the standards. However, they're not on the exam. I think getting kids out of the classroom allows you an opportunity to, to teach and to practice all those things that we know young people should become good at. The Expedition Earth Science program really began about 11 years ago when a, a good friend of mine and a co-teacher, uh, Drew Caldwood and I, realized that we were teaching earth science, but we were almost never getting our kids out into the earth itself. The premise of the Expedition Earth Science is that we offer our students a menu of perhaps six to 10 different expeditions throughout the year, most of which occur on weekends, most of which involve parents acting as transportation and supervision in some manner, and most of which don't cost the kid or the family anything. The Expedition Earth Science trips where we go camping, you get to see sides of kids that you normally don't see. And, and a lot of times I would say it's the true side of the kid. They open up a little bit more. Jeff is really one of the most innovative and creative and energetic teachers that um, I know and that I've ever come across. And his enthusiasm is just infectious. I became a teacher like a lot of people became teachers because we really like to watch the look in a kid's face when they're having an experience for the first time. Let's see. They're having a growth moment. There's that, ah, I get it moment. And, and the reality is, is that we can see that in the classroom. But if you can spend a Saturday with those kids, particularly with their parents in tow, and they're having a growth experience. It's a blast. I've got uh, an administration who has uh, allowed me and encouraged me to play outside the box. Polar Trek is a program that is created by the uh, Arctic Research Consortium of the US. I wanted to be out in the field when my students were in the classroom because the whole point, in my opinion, of Polar Trek was to be able to learn good science, but most importantly, to every day use a blog and photographs and small videos to communicate directly back to kids in the classroom, and then let those kids communicate back to the scientists by asking questions. My advice to brand new teachers is make time to have fun with your students. Make time to show your students that you care about them. You gotta let go a little bit, have some fun with your students, show them you care, build them up, most importantly, get them to do difficult things. And when they do those difficult things, they're gonna feel more empowered themselves.